Brian, Brian and Vidi, along with Granny and Craig and sometimes other people. That was the debut of our new music video kickoff for this program. My plan was to watch SmackDown yesterday in the tent while the children were sleeping. Well, uh, we had no service whatsoever. And so we drove back today, and I watched all of SmackDown. And when I was done watching SmackDown, oh SummerSlam God. began. I am a big fan of the Bloodline storyline. It's the hottest thing in the company. But you know what? Sometimes it is a swing and a miss. And this main event was a swing and a miss. It went way too long. We open with Optimus Ricochet versus Logan Paul, who may have been dressed as Bumblebee as far as I can tell. Logan is the best heel in the world, doing a chin lock and Hulk Hogan tribute spots, which is apparently called the Hogan Paul. Big move, big move, big move. You know what it was like, Vinny? Tell me, Brian. It was like me and you in WrestleQuest. Oh, hey, yes, yes. Yes. Spectacular and wildly fun and entertaining. Yes, for those of you that don't know, Vinny, Dave, and I are all playable characters in the new WrestleQuest video game. The Beast, Brock Lesnar, turned into The Beauty. He shook Cody's hand, gave him a big hug, raised his hand, and left with his head held high. This was tremendous. Really enjoyed that. I thought this match was awesome. The crowd finally gets their guy to win a match, and uh, I'm sure this is not the end for LA Knight, but it's a hell of a beginning. Yeah. This match fucking blew. There was so much discussion about what are we going to do with this MMA match. Ronda and Shayna, they had ideas, and creative had ideas, and it was just like, all right, well, at the end of the day, this is what they came up with. I thought that uh, Finn Balor should win the title because I thought that Finn Balor is champion, Damian Priest with the briefcase, yes. same faction, best friends. I thought it writes itself that if you're not going to do that, this was like a perfect finish. And then EO Sky ran in. EO cashes in, goes to the top rope, the bell rings, she gets a moonsault and wins. Crowd goes nuts. Pacing-wise, it'd be like watching Hogan Andre at Mania 3 three times in a row. Just takes that long to get there. They did not work it in any way to make you believe that Jey Uso was going to win. And you didn't think he was going to win going in. And it was 35 minutes. Brutal. Now. At, at the end of a four-plus-hour show. Yeah. I can't believe I made it through that show. Like It was like, it was like fucking running a marathon. And then Anthony Bowens starts talking about Mr. Ass. <laughs> He's in tears talking about Mr. Ass. One more time, he says, from your couch at home, scissor me, daddy ass. I wish they would have said something like, we called him on the ass phone. Remember how Gorilla Monsoon had the banana phone? Yeah. I just imagine a phone, an ass phone that they oh, used to call Billy I'm going to regret this Google search. <laughs> <laughs> For an article on Vice from April of 2016. <clears throat> the secret world of tiny phones that go inside your butt. Oh, really? Well, that's that's not quite what I was expecting. Nor, wait a second, there's an article on this? Can you, can you send me this article? Okay, all right, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a minute. Now, if you Hello? told me, Hello? Craig, please. What are we talking about? I don't know. Wrestling Dynamite. or something. Okay. Collision. Collision. House of Black versus Darius Martin in action and Dreddy of Lee Johnson. That's where you keep the phone. <laughs> Sorry. Brian, Vinny, Craig, Sean, and Dave Meltzer are all stuck on an island with no way off. Who is the first to be eaten and who is the last? Brian. I say Dave. You think Dave will be eaten first? Mm, he's grisly. Just to uh. get rid of him. Wow. <laughs> Granny, that's the, uh, that's the, that's the uh, what do you call that, the, uh, the gravy train you're killing there. Sorry about that. <laughs> what 80s sitcoms do you miss the most? Hey, tell me about Falcon Crest. Uh, Joan Collins was in that one, and I loved her. Yeah? Yeah, she was a real rich bitch, I guess you'd call her. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Language! Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Dave, I didn't mean what I said. It was just okay. a joke. We'll make sure he knows. I'll we, email him right now. I promise not to eat him. Does he watch this? Not no. a chance. Good, then I'm not sorry. <laughs> 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 
we heard that this show was better. And uh, Craig watched the show first. And uh, I will I will be kind and not read what Craig wrote here. Oh, I don't care. I oh, don't really? Care. All right. Well, this was out of character for Craig. But uh, he wrote, I'm not sure who originally told us that TNA Episode 8 was better than the others, but they are dirty whore liars. <laughs> wow. I have never seen a worse segment in my whole life. Three points of view, a lady. Five points of view, a man. And it's like, why well, you just somebody twice? You win. Yeah. This was the stupidest thing I've ever seen in pro wrestling. It wasn't even like, you get one that's it. Like, after you've used your you don't get another one. They're just like, I could go guy twice in two seconds and win the up cup. By the time the segment was done, I was begging for the Johnsons to come back. <laughs> I've never wanted to see two dicks so bad in my life. A weird show. A very weird show. So the Bucks, they do the shortest by syllables used promo maybe ever. They say FTR. FTR comes out. They stare each other down. And then somebody just says, all in. And the crowd cheers. <laughs> Matches on. <laughs> Five syllables to book this match. This thing was weird. They announced a tournament mm -hmm. for a four-way title match at All In. The champion is in the tournament. Have her do a title defense then. Why does it have to be in the tournament? It was just weird. I, I don't have any. Like, I mean, it wasn't like it was a disaster or anything like that, but it's it's kind of a little bit weird. It's weird. It's just, as I said when we started this review, Weird. Speaking of weirdness, Adam Cole has a special night planned for his best friend, MJF. And we've seen Adam Cole like playing video games, doing goofy comedy. He's never been a bigger dork in the world than he was here. Just a massive dork on these trampolines. I loved it. Okay. Fight me. I don't want to fight you. I don't care. I, at some point, have been to a trampoline park with you. Yeah. My, my 40th birthday party, I okay. took everyone to a trampoline park. Okay. My memory was it was your daughter's birthday or something? No. It was my it was 40th for you. birthday. Okay. Yeah. That explains a lot. At AEW Zero Hour in Wembley on the pre-show before All In, we should challenge for the Ring of Honor Tag Team titles. I was baffled and confused. And, you know, I think the reason they're doing it is because there's so much criticism that they didn't win the, the AEW Tag Team titles. And I don't want to be that guy because we're going to get mad, but they have not been as over since they lost that match. I think it hurt their momentum. I think they should have put the titles on them. They could have lost the belts back to FTR later. Doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah, so this is all weird. It's real weird. There was supposed to be a spot where Angelo was going to pull her out of the ring or whatever. But the referee thought, we got to fucking go home now because we're out of time. And so he just counted three. <laughs> And they ended the match like two minutes before the show went off the air. So it was a total timing issue. And so we got a really weird moment. There's a lot of really weird stuff going on. And the build for a lot of these all-in matches is just weird. Just weird. I feel like I'm the only person that appreciates Von Wagner. Other than Mr. You know, Stone. Mr. Stone. Yeah. Two short, shredded dudes. We, we see old Von Wagner for what he is. He's a talented guy. Noam Dar versus Tyler Bate for the fake Heritage Cup. Okay. This whole storyline made my week. This is the best storyline. This is better than the bloodline. Noam has lost the real cup and the fake cup. Tyler has a cup that he thinks is the real cup, but is actually the fake cup. Got it? And I don't care because the most important thing on the show came up next. <laughs> oh, we had melodrama. Yeah, we my did. My God, we yeah. had melodrama. And they look over this dresser of the nightstand. And there is a photo of Grandpa Garza, with belt around his waist. They are failing to live up to his memory. And so they go to sleep. Main event, Dominic Mysterio versus Dragon Lee. They had a really, really good match. That Dominic looked really good. Dragon Lee's great. Crowd was going crazy for this match. And did a huge number, by the way. Biggest NXT number in two years. Wow. And they were number one on cable for the first time ever. Wow. Yeah. Well, good for them. So that was it. Good show. That was a pretty good show. Yeah, I enjoyed that NXT show. Both were fun, watchable shows.